Hey everyone, welcome back to Mythic Magician's YouTube channel. Today we're going to continue playing Inscription, the full playthrough. Last time we finally beat the final boss, I think anyway, and we got rewarded uh, a cake, something. Uh, I don't know what it is. And also we got a couple of uh, lore videos because we could uh, see this Lucky Carter guy trying to... Uh, he actually launched the game, so it's actually pretty cool. Okay, let's uh, without further ado, let's just continue the game. By the way, if you guys missed the last episode, I'll link on the top right. Check out. Uh, I'll link the full playlist and uh, the previous video. So, uh, yeah, you had won the respect of the strange cabin's inhabitant. Your body quick as the adrenaline of the battle subsided. Leaving you in annoying hunger, you had not eaten for days. Is it not so? Woo! Woo indeed! <laughs> Look at that! Cake! I do not celebrate often and I seldom give gifts. No, but seriously, look at that. That... I'm guessing it's a chocolate cake or... I don't know what that is, a dirt? <laughs> By the way, thank you for the cake. But you, Challenger, you are worthy. Thank you, thank you very much. Please do not be polite. Dig in. Right. Can I eat? Is something wrong? Your prize awaits. Yeah, I can't click it. Very well. Come with me. Okay. Oh, okay. Where are we going? Oh, we're back here. Stand right there. Wait, wait, wait. Can we actually use the camera now? Because we have the film roll. There he is! Look at him! Alright, let's take the camera. Who gave you that? Oh, look at that! Let's go! You absolutely great! Give it back! Take it! What just happened? I think we did it! I think we actually captured him! Look! Uh, can I move? Look at him! Oh, he looks, he looks good. <laughs> so we actually captured him in a card. Whoa. Okay, okay. I see. Um. Right. Uh. Okay. Whoa. What is that? Wait. Is that is that the new game button? Whoa. On the on the bottom right. Look at that. Are these like all the this one, all the buddies, I'm like, but they're all wearing the same clothes, I think. And what is this? Is it Christmas? He's got a Christmas tree hit by in there. There's like a machinery over here. Look at that. It's like a, a computer, I think. And it's on. Right. Anyway. Uh, what do I do here? Do I move forward? Oh gosh! Okay, chill down. Can I can I click it? Oh, it. Oh, I got it. Um, hello. Oh, that's that's outside, isn't it? Can't can't click anything. Um, there's nothing. Here, I don't think so. Anyway, right. Um, escape. Alter deck. I, I actually haven't seen this being used yet. Let's see what changed in the main one because we we took the new game button, right? Whoa! Look at that. The new game button is now available. Shall we try? I kind of not. I don't. I don't want to lose my progress, but we finally can start a new game. Shall we? Let's go. Okay. Look at this. Whoa. Wiping unexpected data. Holy. Purging deck data. Virgin collection data, old data, what's that? Old data? 
Uh huh. In the beginning, the world did not know cars. That's the globe. The globe in the in the cabin. That's the one. That is until the day the scribes arrived. Oh, okay. On the top right, I think that's him. The guy in the table. Each had their own method of inscription to create cards. That's clever. All right. Grimora used her quill to inscribe the epitaphs of the dead. Leshy used his wildlife camera to capture beasts. Okay, so he's, his name is Leshy. PO3 used a particle scanner to copy the CPU of robots. That's the stoat! And Magnificus used his brush to paint his wizard pupils. I think that's... Is that the stunted wolf? So Grimora must be... With the cards created, the scribes had solidified their power. So Grimora must be the stink bug, right? Until one day, a challenger arrived to replace one of the scribes. That, that must be us. Alright, it's a whole new, it's a whole new game. And there's us, <laughs> look at our little avatar. Whoa, choose a starter deck, starting deck to mark your ambition. Wait, 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 wait. It's literally a whole new game. The art style is different, this is like 8-bit style, or 16-bit. And then it's no longer 3D, it's just 2D with shadows, so it looks 3D. It's like... Holy, okay. Can I move? Oh, okay. Uh, can't walk further. Look at this. The text box is actually blocking me from walking downwards. That's cool. Right. Uh, click maybe? Your ambition is to replace Grimora and become the scribe of the dead. Oh, the scribe. We need to replace one of the scribes, aren't we? Alright. So this must be Leshy, right? Your ambition is to replace Leshy and become the scribe of the beast. So, okay. So I'm guessing these are all like different starter cards, right? It's like a, a zombie hand, so maybe undead. It's like um, a wolf, so maybe like the blood. I don't know what these are. Okay, I think... Uh, wait... Your ambition is to replace Magnificus and become the scribe of magics. Okay... What is this one then? Your ambition is to replace PO3. PO3? And become the scribe of technology. So his name isn't the Stoat. It's PO3 apparently. Okay... So... Um, scribe of technology, uh, scribe of beast, scribe of the dead, right? And scribe of magics. Magic sounds cool, but technology. Because I don't want to use Lashy's deck again. I mean, we've tried that in, in part. Of, what is it? We've tried uh, his deck in part one. I think. No, I mean, we've tried his deck in like the previous game before we started a new game. And, well, I mean, his deck is quite good, I must say. But, kind of want to try the new ones, you know? Who shall we replace? What do you guys think? This magic thing, I think we saw it when uh, the Lucky Carter pulled out a blue mage card. So maybe the blue mage is like in the sky of magics right it's either technology or magics i really like both of them shall we try and become the stoat then because he helped us since the beginning or maybe the standard wolf um let's try the stoat shall we Your ambition is to replace PO3 and become the scribe of technology. Right. I hope we can change this later. <laughs> Take the deck. Here we go. The cards were added to your collection. Okay. Can I move? Downwards. 
Wow. What is this? What is this indeed? Look, wait, wait, wait a minute. Look at the hand. It's literally the globe. Whoa. And we're back here. And we're back out. What? Oh, can I? Hello? Oof, I was just about to call it quits out here. But now that there's a challenger in our midst, it's back to work for me. I should be able to get this bridge fixed in... Full disclosure, it'll, it'll take me exactly as long as it takes you to defeat one of those scribes. Wait, what? So we need to beat all then? So, uh, come back later. Okay. Wait, I, I think the dialogue is too slow. Let's, um... Whoa! Now this lets up. Okay. Oh, that's our deck. Starting deck. This is the... This is the beast, so Lashy. And then this is the undead, so Grimora. This is um, the technology, and this is the magic. Right. Automaton. What are these? It's like blood, probably, right? Right. Leap bot. 49er. At the end of the owner's turn, 49er will move into the in the direction inscribed in the sigil. Okay. Thick droid. Oh, wait, what? Oh. Oh, okay. Invalid, 0 out of 20. Let's just put everything in, shall we? Oh, wait, autocomplete. Oh, okay. That's so much faster. Okay. Right, anyway, I want to change the options real quick. There we go. Faster dialogue speed. Okay. Shall we go? Okay, wait a minute. Look up top. I think it's the cabin. Um, okay. That, that's the angler. Oh, look at these. There's like beasts out here. Uh, that's the prospector. There's a chest here. Can I go there? You pry the chest open and found a card pack inside. Oh! <laughs> now we're opening card packs, just like Lucky Carter. You receive a beastly card pack. Oh, okay! Cat. Oh, it's the Undying Cat. Uh, the Mole Man. Zero six, one blood, but it defends like a mole and defend air. Okay, that's really good. The Elk Fawn too. Mummy Lord. No Conduit. May complete a circuit but provides no effect. What is this? It's also used like the blue thing again. The cards were added to your collection. Right. Okay. Let's enter the cabin, shall we? Oh, there he is. Wait, this is like exact like the cabin. Look, you know? Oh, wait. This is the safe, right? Uh, what's the code? C... C27, I think. C27, but I don't remember the last number. Seven... What was the last number? I forgot. Um, this is the cupboard. Oh, yeah, look! There's more puzzles here. Okay... Okay, I see how it is. Um... What? Okay. Oh, it's like the... Okay. One, two, three. Okay, this will be defended. So let's... Oh, there's a mole man here. Or a mole. So let's put flying. Flying. And let's go. Four. Okay. Maybe let's kill the mole using the uh, adder. And this will add two. Okay. Let's go. The drawer creek open and you found a pack inside. You received a beastly card pack. There we go. Ooh, field mice. When field mice is played, a copy of it is created in your hand. That's really good. Moment Raven. Banshee. 
will strike and open directly even if there's oh it's flying okay mummy lower okay there's bones too here huh whoa the Urayuli and the Warren right Frank and Stein Frankenstein that's that's very clever actually right um, is there more? No, I, I don't think so. Oh, is that the trapper? You wish to trade? Oh, it's the trader. Okay. You don't perchance have any pelts. Wait, look at his head. If you flip it around. Okay, I'll put an effect to flip it around. Boom, and there you see it's him. It's the, uh, the trapper if you flip him. All right. You don't perchance have any pelts? No. That is disappointing. But I also accept foils. Foils. Oh. Wait, that's my Ouroboros! Look at that! 10, 10 Ouroboros! I need to buy that! 8? Eight. 8 what? This one? The foils? Squirrel Ball. At the end of the owner's turn, Squirrel Ball will move in the direction inscribed in the sigil and drop a squirrel in the old space. That might be good actually, yeah. There's the stone. Oh, so that's what the stone looks like. Not the square one we see, you know? Squirrel. Okay. How do we get these? Probably by, I don't know, by excess damage, right? I think, yeah, see? I saw them in the setting screen. Okay. Let's talk to Big Guy Leshy, shall we? Stop shaking. Uh, I'm not. The only thing you have to fear is your own inadequacy. Excuse me? Behold me. I am Leshy, the scribe of beasts. We share a desire for you to challenge me. But first... Uh-huh. Whoa. I know what you're thinking. That's the camera, right? That is camera. No, this is not my legendary camera. Okay, never mind. Not the one I used to create beast cards. This one is a mere replica. You may use it to create photos of the beast in these woods. My subordinates, the prospector, the angler, and the trapper, uh -huh, they each require a photo before they will consider battling you. Okay. Return to me when they are all defeated. Okay, so we can only fight him until we beat those three. Okay, just like uh, the previous one before we started a new game. Alright, I want to see what the other areas are. Um, right, we can't go here, we can go down. Wait, what's that here? This one? Can we go there? Oh, we can! Oh, there's a, there's a clover here. Wait, we can... You pick the clover leaf from the stem. Okay. Oh, what is this? What? It just saved. I don't know what that is. Salmon, waterborne. Also, at the end of the owner's turn, salmon will move in a direction inscribed in the sigil. Okay. The card was added to your collection. Nice. Okay, let's edit our deck, shall we? Let's, uh, ooh, okay. Let's remove all. I kind of want to use these cards too, you know? Let's put in the cat, the elk fawn, the warren, the field mice, the salmon, banshee, sure, sure, sure. Uh, leap bots. Oh, no, not that one. I don't know how to use that one. 49er, all right, some automaton in there, a thick droid, and a steam bot. Okay, I need six more cards. Um, oh, okay, there's a page two, all right. Okay, uh, let's take one more, man. Um, let's take another Alphon, and let's take more leap bots. There we go, 20. Right. Let's continue, shall we? Oh, by the way, can you actually ride the boat? 
I'm just wondering. No, you can't. Okay. Right. Let's go. Can't go any further there, so let's go in. Whoa. Hello. You're here. Marvelous. That's the stink bug. I'm Grimora, scribe of the dead. Yeah, okay. Until quite recently, I was disgraced. Though I was returned to my former glory with the help of some unlikely friends. By the help of me, actually. You should thank me. If you wish to test your skills against me, you must first prove your wits. You must discern which two marks the divine resting place of my lovely ghouls. Okay. What's this? We found a piece of an epitaph. It reads, Eaten by a hungry dog. Okay. There's another one here. We found a piece of an epitaph. It reads, does not hold a grudge. Okay. Hello. Oh. Oh, okay, open this one too. You sifted through the bones and found a card pack. Oh, okay. You received a deathly card pack. Whoa. Meatbot is count as tree blood. Oh, it's like the black goat. Okay. Necromancer, when a counter creature dies, you 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 own dies, it is returned to life and dies again immediately. What? But why? Maybe to get more bones? That's cool. Grave digger, at the end of the owner's turn, grave digger will generate one bone. Wait, I need to add this one to my deck. Let's do that. Okay. Um let's remove a couple cards, shall we? Because it has only twenty. Uh, let's sleep bot. Right, okay. And let's try putting in the meat bot. And the grave digger. We should try the necromancer too. Okay, let's try that too. Uh, can we add another, maybe more? Oh, wait. Oh, okay, as long as it added is 20, it's uh, valid. Okay. Put one less 49. No, let's, yeah. All right. I think that's enough. There we go. Oh no, oh no. Do not look upon me. Do not snarl or sniff. I beg you, snarl or sniff. Oh, eaten by the hungry dog. Maybe he is the one eaten by the hungry dog. If you wish to battle, please let us get it over with. Okay. Here we go. It's like a like a Pokemon bell. Um, yep, I'm PO3. Okay, you picked my starter deck. I did. That means you have to learn to use energy. Oh, so the blue thing is called energy, right? Do I really have to explain this to you? Of course, I don't understand. At the start of each turn, you increase your max energy. Okay, that's I got one. All right. Spend it or not, doesn't matter, okay. At the start of your turn, your energy refills to the max, okay. Get it? I think I get it, alright. Bonehound, when an opposing creature is placed opposite an empty space, Bonehound will move to that empty space. Oh, it's like the Bloodhound but Bone, okay. Makes sense so far. Um, I only have one energy. See that? You spent your energy to play the card, but you get it back next turn. Oh, okay, so it reveals back. Sick of hearing from me? Well, I'm sick of talking. I've got important work to do. Okay. You'll see me later. Alright, see you later then. What is this? A hammer? No! Wait, no, no, no! Oh, okay, it kills the card. Right. Well, I can't do nothing now. Ouch. Oh, I'm gonna die, aren't I? Bonehound leaps over to block. Okay. Right. Oh, no, I'm dead already. <laughs> Revenant collapses into a pile of bones. Oh, wait, what is this? I haven't seen a sigil before. I'm dead already? What? Okay, okay. Oh dear, does this mean you will try again? 
I'm so sorry, my friend. I want to see what's left here. Oh, it's the trader again. Hello. You wish to trade? Oh, it's a it's a different one. Oh, because it's uh, the scribe of the dead's place. So his trades are all bones. Bone heap. Pay two bones to increase the power and health of bone heap by one. Whoa, that's really good. Skeleton, it's free. More of these are free, actually. After attacking, skeleton perishes. Oh, so that's the sigil. Okay. Let's keep going. Let's try that again, shall we? Oh no, you are back. <laughs> Please, let this be swift. Alright. Okay, someone's that one again. Oh, there's a clover. Can we use this? Oh, it redraws. Okay, okay, okay. I'll note that. That's cool. Okay. Let's put the leap bot for now. Oh, no, here comes the revenant. Let's put the 49er. When he leaps over to block. Here we go. Okay, 49 moves to a new space. Ouch. Um, I got two bones now, so I can put another one. Boom. There we go. 49er moves to a new space. Ouch. Oh, wait. So per turn, I get more and more energy. That's good. That's really good. Okay, that's end turn for now. Moves to a new space, okay. Ouch. Collapses the pile of bones, okay. Right. Um, I got five energy now, so I can kill, right? Let's just put it here. There we go. Put it on one space, okay. Ouch, my thick droid, no. Okay, oh, I... Right, right, right. Okay, I got six energy now. Oh, and I got a cat too. Right, right. Let's put this here then. And let's summon the Necromancer. Okay. Boom, he's gone. Right. Got a Salmon. That's better. So let's put it here. And sacrifice. The commands raises, raises the corpse from the, from the dead and then let, lets it die once more. So double the bone. Okay, that's really good. Boom. He's dead. There we go. Let's go. I got two foils. Or in the previous one, two teeth. It is over. You chewed me out. Now, please, look away. Turn your eyes to this card pack instead. Okay. There we go. Deathly card pack. Whoa, what is that? Pharaoh's pets? Is it this one? Yeah. It's gonna kind of streak blood rather than one blood when sacrificed. Also, when Pharaoh's pet is sacrificed, it does not perish. It's it's the cat sigil with the black gold. Look at that. Look at the portrait. It's both of them together. That's cool. Another necromancer, the bone hound. It's seven bones. It's too expensive. Mage Pupil. If Mage Pupil owner the controls no mox cards, Mage Pupil perishes. Okay, this is the magic one, right? Practice Wizard. What is this orange one? I'm called Sawyer. The middle stone marks my grave. Please, do not go digging up my bones. Okay, so he's the one uh, who got eaten by the dog. We found a piece of an epitaph. Sawyer Patel. 1702, fall, 1778. Okay. Oh, and, and he's gone. Look at that. He, oh, wait. I can go down. Okay, wait. I need to complete the puzzle first. The middle one. Uh, Sawyer Patel. Okay. He was eaten by the hungry dog. Um, I don't know about that yet. Okay, let's... Keep going. Right. 
uh, you found a piece of an epitaph. It reads brought down by scurvy. Okay. What is this? A gust of foul smelling air bills from the casket. Oh, hello. Oh, wait. Uh huh. You have no offering. No, I don't. And he goes back in. Okay, right. Um, let's talk to the school then. Hello. Brr. Did someone leave the AC on? <laughs> oh, come on, dude. Wait, what's this on his head? It's freezing in here. Maybe a heated battle will help. Freezing indeed. Okay. Okay, so I can redraw if I don't like the hand. This is pretty good actually so far. Banshee and Draugr. Can't be sacrificed. When Draugr perishes, the creature inside is released in its place. It's like the frozen opossum. Okay, let's put Leap Bot here then for defense. Ouch. Let's put another Leap Bot here for defense. Okay, he just keeps putting on all the skeletons. Right. Warren. When Warren is played, a rabbit is created in your hand. Okay, let's try that. Warren pulls out a rabbit. And it's free. Okay, so I have a banshee now. Let's put it here. Ah, uh, okay, boom boom. Ooh, there's a rabbit on, on the right side. Skeleton collapses into a pile of bones. Right, okay. Uh, I can put a 49er right here to destroy the banshee. Okay. Uh, that's it for now, I suppose. Boom, there we go. Oh, that revenant is gonna hurt. Right, okay, but it, it, it dies immediately. Okay. There's the uh, automaton. Let's put the thick droid. Boom, hurt so much, huh? Ouch, okay. Oh, and I got a salmon. Right in time, I suppose. I'll just put in the um the old this one and sacrifice both. Put that there and put the automaton right here. Boom. Reaches oh oh yeah, I forgot about that. Okay. I won anyway. There we go. Oh, I didn't get excess damage. Okay. You won. But now I'm a bit less cold. There we go. Take a pack on the house. There we go. What is this? Dead hand. When dead hand is played, discard your hand, then draw a new hand of four cards. Oh, okay. That might be good. Who knows? Gem Fiend. If Gem Fiend's owner controls no Fox cards, Gem Fiend perishes. What is this? Maybe Mox is like the blue and orange thing? I don't know. You did beat me, so I guess I've got to fess up. The name's K Casey. Wait, that's Casey Hobbs. Casey was the one from um, the boss battle with the moon, if you guys remember. By the way, episode linked up on top right. Casey, huh? Okay. I'm from the tombstone on the left. Okay, you're from the left. Casey Hobbs, right. Casey Hobbs. Uh, I don't know one of any of these. All right. Um, we can pass to the well. You put up an epitaph piece. Okay, it reads the defibrillator failed. Okay. You found a card in the well. Oh, <laughs> I actually pulled up a card, huh? Okay, the ink is running from the moisture. Drowned soul, waterborne. Also, when drowned soul damages another creature, that oh, it's it's the adder, but it's it sinks. Okay, that's that might be good. Let's take that into our deck, shall we? Wait, what? What did I press? Oh, I pressed tab by accident. I, I meant to press escape. Also, tab opens the deck directly. Okay, that's cool. 
right. Um, Drown soul. Faro's pet is six bones though. Let's throw out maybe the 149er. There we go. So our deck isn't isn't too thick. Oh, by the way, I've realized something while playing. We, we don't actually to get to draw squirrels now. We need to sacrifice using what we have. So, yeah, I can't have too much blood cost because I'm going to die if, if I do that. Right. Let's continue. At least if you die here, you don't lose a life. You're just like, hey, you lost, you can try again. That's cool. Hello. Hark. A living slice of lemons approaches. Okay. Bright and trick as a lime. Ye think ye. So he's the scurvy one. He will squeeze a defeat out of me. Um, what is that? Go ship. Waterborne. Also, at the owner's at the end of the owner's turn, go ship will move in the direction inscribed in the sigil, and drop a skeleton in its old place. Okay, that's not good. Right. Okay. Let's put a leap bot and put the elk farm. Right. So it's waterborne. You can't attack it anyway. Right. There we go. Moves to a new space. Ouch. And it ev oh yeah right evolve yep there we go let's kill the skeleton shall we there we go moves to a new space there we go ouch okay 49er let's go boom boom there we go Okay, ouch. Right, this this enemy is so annoying. Right, there we go. Boom. There we go, one excess damage. That's it, okay. Right, we beat all of them. Hey, you beat the pop out of me. Firstly, take ye this. Deathly card pack, there we go. Right, okay, new ones. Muscle Mage. At the end of the owner's turn, Muscle Mage will move in a direction inscribed in the sigil. Creatures in the way will be pushed in the same direction. Okay, that's cool. That's like a hefty one. Blue Mage. Oh, that's that's the rare card. The one that uh, the lucky card pulled. When Blue Mage is played, you draw cards equal to the amount of Mox cards on the, your on your side of the board. Okay. Right. And because ye bested me, with ye I'll share me secret. Me name's Royal. Is the fire right tomb. Here's the headpiece. There we go. Royal Dominguez. Right. There we go. Royal. Brought down by Scurvy. Uh, Defibrillator failed. Let's just put in the ones we have first. Right, uh, it does not hold a grudge. There we go. Oh, wait, there's something up here. Oh, okay, there's an epitaph. Oh, that's cool. You guys can hear the music actually fades out. We found a piece of an epitaph. It reads, There was no cure. Okay. Oh, hello. Oh, wait, what? Is that. I actually changed a character. And I'm back. And I'm a different character. Okay, so it's like... Um, cosmetics, probably. I like this one. Let's keep this one. Okay. Oh, hello. Found a piece of an epitaph in the casket, among other things. It reads, hit by a falling piece of ice. Okay, that's Casey. Found a card pack among the gibbous and scantlings. There we go. Okay, new cards. Go ship. Okay, we've seen that before. Headless Horseman. Airborne. Also at the end of the owner's turn, Headless Horseman will move in the direction inscribed in the sigil. Broken Oboe. 
Once broken elbow is struck, the striker is then dealt. Okay. A single damage is uh, sharp. Okay. It's like a uh, half moon. Gourmage. Pay two bones to increase the power and health of Gourmage by one. Okay. That's cool. Right. Got the epitaphs, but I think I'll have to leave this episode here. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you do enjoy, please uh, consider leaving a like. Also, consider subscribe because you know it's free and you can change your mind anytime. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you don't miss any episode or any videos I upload daily. So, yep, see you guys later and bye bye.